I'm Tembi. Welcome to Sweet Serenity Kitchen, where you can find me whipping up all things sweet. So today I'm making sweet potato biscuits. It is January, it is gloomy, there's a bunch of craziness going on in the world, and I just needed some comfort. I decided these biscuits were it. They are a subtle twist on traditional biscuits, so you get the fluffiness, you get the butteriness, and you get the flakiness of a biscuit. Plus, you get the robust flavor and the heartiness of a sweet potato. So if that sounds like something you're into, stay tuned. Okay, so we're starting with our dry ingredients. We're adding our flour, brown sugar, bacon powder, bacon soda, salt, cinnamon, and nutmeg. The nutmeg isn't pictured in the video, however I did add it off camera. After we get all of these ingredients in the bowl, we want to whisk them to make sure everything's incorporated and we want to make sure we get rid of any of the lumps that the brown sugar may have. Now we want to add our cold butter cubes. You can grate your butter into the flour or use a food processor. I found that using the cold butter cubes is just more efficient for me, um, less time consuming really. So you'll see here that I start off using a pastry cutter. I do this because in the beginning the cubes of butter are really, really hard and so it would be really difficult to mesh those together with just my bare hands, which is my preferred method. <laughs> So once I've gotten the cubes down to a pretty manageable size, I'm gonna go in with my hands and start crumbling the flour and the butter together until I get pea-sized crumbles. All right, so onto our sweet potato mixture. You wanna use a medium to large sweet potato and this will give you about a cup. Um, as you can see here, I baked my sweet potato because I think it gives the best flavor, plus I bake sweet potatoes every week anyway. However, this does take about 45 minutes or so, so if you don't have the time, you could always use a puree or boil your sweet potatoes. And now you want to mash it up, and you want to make sure it's mashed up good. You don't want any lumps of unmixed sweet potato in there. And now we're gonna add our buttermilk to the sweet potato and vanilla. The vanilla is another one of those components that's gonna help bring out the flavor in our sweet potato. Okay, once you get those in there, you want to uh, make sure you mix this up really good. Like I said before, you don't want any lumps uh, throughout your biscuit plus you don't want to risk the chance of overworking your dough You don't have to get the mixture all the way smooth, but you do want it well combined Now we're adding our sweet potato mixture to our dry ingredients um, when mixing this, this is tip. So this is typically the part of the process where you would add like your buttermilk or your cold milk or whatever liquid ingredient. Because we're using sweet potatoes, it's not going to be as liquidy as um, you know your regular biscuit mix. So you're going to have to work with the dough a little bit more. Um, for my recipe anyway, so I just kind of work it until most of the sweet potato is covered in flour and then I'll um, put it onto my work surface. As we get the dough on the surface, we want to start kneading it. We want to be kind of gentle with it because we don't want to overwork the gluten and form tough biscuits. So we're just going to kind of push the dough together and knead it until we get a uniform ball. 
Now we want to pat the dough out until we get a layer that's about an inch thick and we're ready to cut our biscuits. I'm using a three inch round biscuit cutter. Using this size, I can usually get about seven to nine biscuits out of it. It just kind of depends on how much I flatten my dough. Once we've cut out that first layer, we wanna gather and knead the dough so we can continue cutting out our biscuits. When I get to my last scraps of dough, I kind of just shape them and form them into the cutter so I can form my last biscuit. And we're almost ready for the oven. First, we're gonna brush our biscuits with this egg wash. The egg wash helps promote browning and it's gonna give us the glossy top on our finished biscuits. Now we're gonna bake our biscuits at 425 degrees for about 15 minutes or until the tops are a nice golden brown. While the biscuits are baking, we can put together the cinnamon honey butter. For this, you want your butter to be room temperature or a little bit melty so that it can combine well with the honey and the cinnamon. And we're just gonna mix and stir until the ingredients are combined. And our biscuits are done and y'all they smell so good you can see that from the egg wash our tops are a nice golden brown and they're really shiny and then we still got a good rise from the butter and then when you open them up they're so soft and pillowy inside perfect and here we have it my sweet potato biscuits It's soft, it's buttery. You can see the layers in it. You can taste the sweet potato. And we can't forget the cinnamon honey butter to top it off. Mmm. It's a perfect addition. So if you like this recipe and you want to see more, please like, comment, and subscribe. In the meantime, you can visit my blog, sweetserenity.com, and until next time, bye.